Hi there, my Leos, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of September the 3rd through to the 9th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them up. Let's see what's going on for my Leos. First up, we have the Eight of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Five of Swords reversed. And next, we have Major Arcana Death card in the reverse, followed by the Six of Cups upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Sun, in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Leo, for your overall energy, you have that of the Eight of Wands in the upright position. Could be that communication is moving super fast for you guys. Even action and activity wands also cover um, action. This is communication that requires action sometimes. It's such as if we put out our resume, for example, um, to uh, apply for jobs and all of a sudden we're getting back a lot of uh, responses and we have to go on interviews and that kind of energy for others of you if you have uh, your profile out there on a dating site it could be that you're getting a lot of action activity and people want to meet, meet wanting to meet up with you this could also represent you being super busy if you have your own business it could be that you're getting a lot of orders and a lot of things are coming at you maybe all at once um, it's very very fast moving energy uh, on the love front this is arrows of love find their mark so so, um, could be a very exciting uh, week for you, Leo. Now, coming right into the week, we have the energies of the Five of Swords in the reverse position. Five of Swords upright, this is a, a card that's known as a conflict. Fives represent conflict, and the Five of Swords is that kind of conflict where we could get into bitter battles, uh, verbal battles with others and so forth. And there really are no winners in this situation in the upright this is where, um, you know, we can win the, the battle but or lose the war, that type of energy. When it's reversed like this, we're coming out of that energy. So for any of you who people drew you into their battles, it could be like, maybe on the weekend and now come the beginning of the week. You're over it. You're moving on. You don't want anything to do with this uh, conflict any longer. Now it's paired up with Major Arcana Death card in the reverse. The Death card upright, this is about transforming elements or bringing an end to a situation. When it's in the reverse position like this, this could be um, there's a need to transform an area of your life or an aspect of a relationship. This could be a friendship, this could be a family situation, what have you. Maybe that's what this um, Five of Swords was about. And perhaps uh, you just walked away from the, um, the turmoil or the conflict and decided not to work with uh, the person anymore, deal with the person anymore, and therefore there will be no more, uh, you know, there will be no transformation. And transforming upright, this is more about sort of fixing a problem and working with others to fix the problem. When it's reversed, uh, this energy is um, halted. So it's like uh, at this, maybe the timing just isn't right for some of you to repair an element or transform an element of a relationship. Maybe right now you just need to leave it alone, walk away. Sometimes we have to do that until tempers cool down and things like that. We just need to leave it be for the moment. Now moving on towards the weekend of the 8th, we have the Six of Cups in the upright position. The Six of Cups is beautiful energy. This is the Blast from the Past card, also known as the Soulmate card. This can be where someone returns from the past. For some of you, it could be on the relationship front for sure. Maybe this was the one that got away and you're getting back together again with them. There's a reunion. For others of you, this could just represent a family reunion. Maybe you're getting together with a bunch of people who you haven't seen in a while and um, could be old friends as well as family it could be pretty much anybody um, just maybe getting together with them and sharing memories from the past and playing remember when for others of you it could just be sometimes you know we hear music or we hear a song or see a movie that brings us back to the past and we just have some fond memories about it could be even telling someone new in your life about the good old days and reminiscing about that now it's paired up with major can the sun in the upright position this is such a beautiful card. This is, uh, to me, represents uh, Leo because uh, the sun is 
is just who you guys are. <laughs> you are very vibrant. Uh, usually when Leo is feeling at their best and at the top of their game, Leo is the, the sun card. It represents success and attainment, full confidence, full speed ahead, moving forward. Very, very nice energy. Um, nice way to end the week for you guys. So I hope this reading helped you, Leo. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. Okay, bye for now.